Hi, it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to show you some serious detail on three special sneaks for the Cloth and Paper September subscription box. So let's get started. I've got two things to show you in my CP Petite. And for those of you who are not familiar with the size of CP Petite, it's very similar to an A6. And it's four by six is the size. It's extremely useful for an everyday carry and something that you can just tuck in a bag because it is just so slim and so useful. In my CP Petite, I do have 0.5 discs in here because I like it extremely thin. So if you haven't signed up for the September box yet, you are not going to want to miss it because there are some exclusive items in here and they will not be going to the shop, only to subscribers. You have until September 4th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time to sign up if you haven't already. And of course, I have a discount for you if you haven't signed up yet. Details below in the description. So the September theme is planning principles, getting you into some good planning habits. There's a new dashboard and I love the stock that it's on. And the dashboard is called Longevity and Refinement and it's in Ashley's handwriting. Next, we have a set of inserts called Priority Matrix Inserts. There's a cover sheet and this is really something that resonated with me. What's important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important. And that was a statement from Dwight Eisenhower. So then there are two different sheets that you're going to see within this insert. So let me focus in here a little bit. So you have an area right here where you can list some tasks and you number them. Then you have four quadrants, and this may look really familiar because it was on a journal card in the past. And I know a lot of people enjoyed this concept. So what you have here is urgent, not urgent, and important, not important. So you would write down your tasks here. Then for each of the quadrants, you would take the number of the task and put the number somewhere in that box. So in quadrant one, you've got things that are urgent and important. Quadrant two would be non-urgent, but still important, and you get the idea. You have several pages of that. Then you have another one, which is basically your plan for your quadrant one to-dos, your quadrant twos, etc. Quadrant three, the idea is these should be things that are delegated, and quadrant four would be things that you could eliminate or get rid of completely. I'm excited to work on this because I tend to have to-do lists that go on forever. I would love to see them scaled down and this will give me a great way to focus on that. So the next item is probably the most talked about and anticipated item in a long time and it is the silver task notebook and it is reflecting so much that I'm sure that's very hard for you. It's certainly hard for me to find a spot to do this where it's not reflecting off of different things. It is gorgeous. This notebook is the same exact style as what we've had before that I'm sure most of us have purchased multiples of. Here's one of the ones that I have in a CP Petite size in black, and this one happens to be a dot grid. What's in our box is so exciting to me because it's my very favorite cloth and paper insert, the task planner, and that's the whole notebook. Now, why I love the task planner insert is the same reason I love it in a notebook. It's got a margin on the left so that you could number things, you could check them off when you're done, you could also dot marker going down here if you're making a list that way, but it's lined so in essence, you have a line notebook. So you could use this as a journal. You could use this as a master to-do list. You could use this for anything. It is so versatile. And this is in an A5 size and will obviously fit in all of the cloth and paper, A5 or large folios. But it will fit many other places and I'm going to show you some of those. But before I do that, I also wanna show you some things that you can use with your notebook. 
So for example, you could get a dashboard in this size and those can go in. The spiral fit perfectly. Same thing with a today dashboard. If you like to put your sticky notes and things on there or the page marker. So these are things that you can add to personalize your own. This is my A5 foundations planner. And of course I have the Fika dashboard there. Matches the silver perfectly. And so what you can do here here is you can add a notebook in because the way cloth and paper has these designed you've got the area in the back to add a notebook and my suggestion if you have a lot of things in your rings like I do here is to push this all the way in so that the rings will not hit the notebook. This works perfectly and it closes perfectly. Now this isn't a notebook Book that I think I'd want to lug around because it gets pretty heavy. <laughs> but if it's something you want to keep in your home or in your office, it's just great to have the notebook right inside your planner. I love this idea. And if you're wondering about this fitting in other planner covers, I happen to have a, a number of Louis Vuitton planners and I thought I would see how that worked in those. Of course it fits like a glove, just perfect. So you can use any planner covers that you have or pick up a new heirloom or other planner cover on the cloth and paper site. Of course, you can just use it on its own because it is so gorgeous. These are going to be in the September subscription box and then also available as a subscriber exclusive. So if you want to own one in silver, the subscription box is the way to go. My code is always listed below in the description and also on my Instagram. And just a reminder, you only have until September 4th at 11.59 p.m. So that's Monday night, folks. A link to subscribe is also below. Hope that was helpful to you. Hope you're as excited as I am about this and the whole September box. I can't wait to get the clip and the time block stickers and the labels and everything else that's been sneaked so far. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around.